It's rock and roll. Rock and roll. All right, guys, you never know who you're going to run into at SHOT Show. And um, what's your name again? Uh, oh, I was going to throw uh, out. <laughs> That's not you the know, question yeah, I yeah, yeah, told yeah. you I was going to ask you. Les, thank you so much, bro, for taking the My time. My pleasure. And we're going to answer some of the guys' questions. We're going to talk about your knife. But my first question is, mm -hmm. what new, cool, or secret things do Lester out have going on? Well, the, the problem with the answering that question is <laughs> we could spend, like, the next, you know, hour. I like to be prolific in what I do, whether it's my music or whether it's filming or if I'm writing or, or what have you. Um, the shortest answer is... Uh, definitely looking at doing some more Survivor Man shows, uh, potentially with my son, a couple more Survivor Man and son shows. That's one are... question off on my list. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> that, and I've got two new albums coming out. I'm recording in uh, in L.A. and Nashville. Uh, Slash has played on one of the albums, and Steve Vai has played on one one of, one of the songs, I should say. And then um, uh, I've got some concerts coming up, of course, uh, as always. And then I do have some secret stuff that I won't talk about. Uh, but, and then also, because we're here at the Camillus booth, I've got the new uh, Survivor Man kits, survival kits that I've launched, oh. the new line of survival knives, the, uh, this guy here, which is never before, we, well, I guess the best way to say it is we have a patent on the first retractable slingshot, so for packing and so on. And this is a beautiful unit uh, that I've really worked, over, cool. worked, worked through with, with for Camillus. And so I'm launching that the survival kits and you know when I did the survival kit thing I actually recently did a video that I'll be putting online where I laid out all of the uh, well three I guess or four other survival kits and I all I ripped them all a new one and then I also <laughs> pull mine out and I critique mine as well and I including some stuff that that I think it could be criticized for so I go through everything yep. and then I I talk about the philosophy and the reality of survival kits so I mean I've got a lot on the go the new knife line the slingshot, the kits, and then also the, the secret thing, I suppose, would be I'm, I'm designing a survival spear. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Yeah, don't tell anyone. <laughs> you want to take a look at the knives? What do you want to do? Wh whatever you want to do. Yeah. I have never oh, yeah? reviewed any of your stuff, and That's they are beating the crap out of me because... Yeah, seriously. Dude. I got to get some. <sighs> dude, <laughs> dude, seriously. <laughs> I'd like to do a, a Bigfoot documentary feature film. Really? I might be working on this. All sorts of Can stuff, you know? As bait, yeah. <laughs> Squatch bait. You gotta talk about. Do you want to talk? Just talk. Pick up a knife. No, I don't want to talk about the knives because okay. I'm not a salesman. The bottom line is, though, um, and as Camillus will tell you, there's nothing that I design or work on that I don't take a lot of time, put a lot of energy in. If they don't do this and then pass it off to me to put my stamp on it, I have to go through it, use it, make sure it's exactly what I would want to advise someone to use in whether it's hunting, fishing, survival situation and so I hold their feet to the fire basically when we design these units and they are in my opinion only, that's all it is is my opinion, are, they're beautiful and powerful and right on the money. They're meant to realistically work out in the field. There's no, oh let's put on that on because that makes the knife sell more. Let's put that on because that makes it look cool. There's none of that ever in, in what I do and, and I pushed them for a long time to uh, develop a new machete with me because even though I'm, I'm proud of the first machete we did, this machete is much better for jungles. And I said I wanted larger, lighter, for slashing through a jungle if you have to. And so we're developing this one right now. Some of these are actually just prototypes. We're not going to pull apart the survival kits. I've done one that is a solo kit for individual people. Uh, and then I've done a group kit as well. Is that this one? That's the solo? That's it, yeah. And I think I've fixed a lot of the what I believe are, are potentially deadly mistakes with other kits that are put out and, and to buy off the shelf. You know, I'm right. talking about the kits that you buy off the shelf. It's a very dangerous scenario. To me, a survival kit is the same thing as a first aid kit. You should never use it. It's not for playing. It's, 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 a, it's your first aid kit, but for survival. You should never have to use it. Best. Well, thank you very much, man. Thank you so much for My your pleasure. time, bro. If you want more from Survivor Man, Les Stroud, click the link on your screen or in the video description to watch part two of my interview where he shares his ultimate survival tip, the hardest day he ever spent out in the wilderness, and the crazy day Survivor Man almost died, exclusively on the Ultimate Survival Tip Show on Carbon TV. Thanks for watching.